Okay, we're going to look at solving systems in a slightly different way. We're going to be using another method called the elimination method rather than using the comparison method. And to do the elimination method, um, you'll remember, all we have to do is stack our equations up with x's over y's. So that's kind of been done for us, but I'll rewrite it right here. So 2x plus 4y equals 42. And then underneath, I've got 4x minus 3y is equal to 1.5. Now I've got to multiply these equations to get rid of one of the variables and there's different ways of doing that. Some of you might see a quick shortcut and, and if you see another way, you know, go ahead and use it. Um, as long as you're getting that right answer, it's okay. But the way I show this that you can never go wrong is to multiply these two coefficients right in front. In other words, I'm going to multiply this whole equation over here by 4 and I'm going to multiply this whole equation over here by 2. So opposite of each other. And when I do that, I got to remember I have to distribute all the way across. So that equation will become a slightly different equation. Um, it's going to become 8x plus 16y uh, um, is equal to, sorry, 42 times 4. And that gives you 168. So I multiplied the top one by 4 because there's a 4 in front of the x down here. Now I'm going to multiply the bottom one by 2 because there's a 2 in front of the x up there. And that's going to give me 8x minus 2 times uh, 3 is 6. And that's going to be equal to 3. Now the last step is to subtract. I know it's called sometimes the addition method, but we're going to subtract the second one from the first one. When we do that, I'll use my red pen here to emphasize this. When you subtract it, just like before with the distribution, you've got to subtract not just the front, but you've got to change all those signs. So all your negatives become positives, and all your positives become negatives. And then you just add them together. So when we do that, we've eliminated that, leaving me with 16y Sorry, I had originally minus 6y. Now I've got uh, plus 6y. So 16 plus 6 is 22y is equal to 168 uh, plus negative 3 is 165. Now to solve my y, I'm going to divide by 22. Leave me with 7.5 for my y. So now that I know my y, I got to go ahead and get my x. Now, how do I do that? Well, you have to do it with substitution. Uh, I can pick either one of these. It doesn't matter which one you pick. I'm going to write one of them down. 2x plus 4y equals 42. And I'm just going to take that y is equal to 7.5. And I'm going to pop it right in where the y is. Don't drop the 4. We still need that 4. 2x plus 4 times whatever y is, 7.5 equals 42. So 2x plus 4 times 7.5, I think it's 30. There it is, is equal to 42. Subtract 30 from both sides. And now divide by 2. And x is 6. So the x is 6 and the y is 7.5. And there's our answer. Look at that one over there, right? Look what they're trying to do there. And these are based on calculation errors. So there's your answer for elimination.